welcome or welcome back to everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in with me again. But if you see two thumbnails with me looking the exact same in the exact same spot with the exact same outfit on, it's because I am shamelessly filming multiple videos in one day because I have a lot of stuff and a lot of time and I'm bored and I just want to get these things knocked out so I can figure out how to edit videos and get them up so you can watch them so I can film more videos. So, um, today I have for you guys a um, Hot Topic haul, I guess, but it's really mostly The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I have two Hot Topic hauls, two part. One is like an in-store, I went to the store, I picked it out, I made my husband carry it around the store, and he bought it. We bought it, I bought it, but he bought it. Um, the second is an online um, haul that I, when I order things offline, I just have it shipped to the store because I don't want to pay for shipping. I had ordered something online um, about a month ago, and well, I ordered like three separate times. So like one came in, got it. Next one came in, right after that, got it. Third one well, just never came. I just waited and waited, and it was like a month. Um, I had a phone call uh, three days ago um, from a Nevada number, and I was like, okay, I don't know anybody in Nevada. So I didn't answer it because I don't answer phone calls from people that I don't know. Um, and they left me a voicemail, and it was like, hey, this is so-and-so from Hot Topic. Um, we've had your stuff for over the amount of time, because if you, if you don't pick it up within seven days of it arriving, they cancel your order, they send it back to the warehouse, and you can't get it. It's like, okay, shoot, like, nobody told me. In my web, I went and checked my web, the web page or whatever my, for my account, and it said processing. It didn't say it had sent, I never got an email about it, nothing. So, I gave them a call back. Me being me, I didn't ask where, like, I didn't ask if it was the, the, the mall by me. And the next day, me and my husband went to the store. I was like, hey, I gotta pick up my package. And they're like, oh, okay, I don't think you have one, though. And I was like, well, I just got a phone call yesterday, and y'all were telling me that I had to pick up my stuff, or you were sending it back to the warehouse. So... Um, a little while later, they came out and they're like, we don't have anything. I gave them the phone number of the people who called me, um, and it was a store in Nevada, um, that received my stuff, and even though, because I was like, I checked on my page to make sure that I ordered it to my store, and I did. So, it wasn't me, the company just somehow sent my package instead of to my state sent it to Nevada so Nevada had it the whole time I'll start with the things that I ordered that went to Nevada and then I will do the rest of the stuff because we got a really good really really good deal okay so the first thing I got was the Jack Skellington head popcorn bucket. No, it is not from the Disney parks. That would have been really cool, but for some reason Hot Topic has a pumpkin, not pumpkin, a popcorn bucket in their store. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, and it was originally $23 and I got it for $11.45. They have a lot of, um, Nightmare Before Christmas mugs out there, and I love Nightmare Before Christmas, but some of the style, like with the ones with like all the thorns and like all the like swirls and it's just too not my style. Um, but I did get one because it was on sale, and I got the mirror. So there's the mirror. On this side, and then on this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing that I really love about mugs, especially with Disney, is that they typically put the um, design on this side, so that when you 
hold it with your left hand, which I'm left-handed, you can see it. So you can take pictures and stuff like that. People are like, oh, it's right-handed so that you can look at it. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't care. I don't want to look at it. So I'm just drinking. So uh, I do appreciate that Disney most of the time puts their designs on this side. Um, and this was originally $15 and I got it for $7.45, which I'm pretty sure that's not, I'm pretty sure I, I was supposed to pay five, but it's fine. Not salty. So we have that. And then the last item that I ordered online that came that went to Nevada is um, this. I really wanted this. It's the Oogie Boogie um, jewelry tray. And I think it spins. I know like Disney, the Disney stores had like that really big one. Um, and it was really expensive. And I just never wanted to pay that much for it. And it never went on sale. So I was just like, okay. I saw this on sale and I was like, that's tiny. I can, I can, I can handle. Even though I'm not going to use it as a jewelry dish because the jewelry that I have on is always stays there. I don't really wear jewelry, but if I like got jewelry like from Bibbidi Bobbidi Bob or something like that, great. I love it. I will wear it, but I don't like just go out and buy jewelry. I go out and buy like Funko Pops and stuff like that. So I'm going to take this out of the little thing. Oh, it doesn't spin. It's just a solid. So this was originally $27 and I got it for $13.45. So I guess really I just got half off of everything. I really, truly, truly, truly admire anybody who can take the Funko Pops out of the box. I wish I was that person. I want to take them out of the box. I even have even bought two of some Funko Pops because I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave this one in and I'm going to take this one out so I can enjoy it out of the box. But no, I can't bring myself to take a Funko Pop out of the box. So I've never, ever even touched a Funko Pop out of its box. I cannot bring myself to do it. So to everybody who rips open their Funko Pops and throws away the box, congratulations. I admire you. I'm a fan. Go for it. You live your life. Don't be like me. <laughs> this is the one that I purchased beforehand and then realized that the box was scraped up. Um, and they let me just swap it out. So it is Marty McFly from Back to the Future 3 where he's in his little cowboy outfit with his sneakers on. Um, I just really, I love Back to the Future. Me and my dad used to watch this all the time. Um, and the third one is probably honestly my favorite. I really like westerns, um, anything like that. So I just really, I really, really like this. And I don't have any other Back to the Future ones. I really want to get the whole collection um, but for now I'm really happy with this I'm glad they made this version of Marty because I love love the pink um, so there's that and then I went in and I got Jack with the snake that's so cool this is like one of my favorite um, Funko Pops just because I think it's such a great idea I love I love 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 the snake um, and having it come out of his skull is really freaking cool. I really want to get all the wishables of the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't live anywhere near parks so I can't just go pick them up. My only gripe with the collection is that the snake is purple and orange in the wish on the wishable but in the movie and in real life the snake is orange and black. Another thing that I purchase. It's a pop. Sorry, I'm moving around a lot. My legs are asleep and they kind of hurt really bad. Um, it's a pop that I've been noticing for a while. It's the only one that's been in that store for a hot minute. Um, and I felt bad for the little fella. I got, I saw that he was 
50% off. And he, he just always was sitting in the same spot, sipping his little tea. So I was like, all right, today's the day. I'm going to get you, buddy. And so now I have him. And he's so cute. I want to take him out of the box, but again, I'm not. And then my last item that I got personally is I got the last one of the um, Diamond Edition Zero Hot Topic exclusive um, keychain. So he's all sparkly and glittery and stuff. And I got him for $8, but then he's worth like $13. I have the Funko app, so I always do all that crap. Um, so yeah, that's all that I got. And then my husband, um, he is more so a Harry Potter person. Um, I am not. I know stuff about Harry Potter. I know my house. I know like what kind of wand that I would have. Like I've done all the Pottermore stuff. I've been to Harry Potter World and Universal. It's great. I was chosen to receive a wand. I have my own wand. The wand chose me. That kind of stuff. But I've only seen like one. If you combine his love for Harry Potter and for board games and my love for Funko, which he like he likes Funko too, but he just doesn't really have it. Um, you get Funko verse, and it has Hermione, Harry Potter, um, Voldemort, and Bellatrix Lestrange. See, I know some things. Um, I know she's voiced by Helena bon Bonham Carter, who was actually like. Uh, uh, Tim Burton's person for forever and I'm really really tore up that they you know broke up but life goes on so we thought this was gonna be more like a Monopoly style game but it's not it's more like a Dungeons and Dragons feel which I've never played so I don't know <sighs> you it's gonna be a, a long process to get me to get through a whole game of this but I'm gonna do it because I love them. Um, and this game was fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. So we're gonna play that with our friends. Hopefully, when they come up from our home state. Um, and then the last thing that we got that I will show you, JP. Slash Tim, his name's Tim. He's JP to me. JP. He saw that they had four blind bags that came with two pops in it. Um, and the blind bags were $5 a piece. There's only one Disney one in here. Um, it's not like what you think of when you think of Disney. It's like an old school um, patty mayonnaise from Doug. Um, that was like my childhood. And we got, this is the only one that he was like, can I, I'm gonna keep this one. And I was like, cool, I don't care. Like, whatever you wanna do, boo boo. Um, so it's Eugene from Shazam. I don't know anything about Shazam. Then we got another Marvel. Is that Marvel? No, this is DC. This is Marvel. Um, Janet Van Dyne or something. From Ant Man and the Wasp. Don't know. Uh, I, don't know. I knew who this was off the bat because I, I have watched several episodes of um, The Walking Dead. So it's Sasha. Her box is not not in great con condition or anything like that. So Sasha. And then from a Netflix show called Bright. Tika, 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 Tika. Uh, Star Wars. God, I'm gonna butcher this. I'm but I'm butchering all the names. I'm sorry. Kira, 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 Kira. All right, and then from Marvel's Runaways, Alex Wilder. Don't know who that is. And then, last but not least, this is my favorite one, just because I love all things vintage and pinup. 
bombshells like that's my thing um dc's bombshells hawk girl um but i don't I think I'm gonna keep her because I just don't collect superheroes um, and I'd rather just, you know, give it to somebody or sell it to somebody who really wants it. So, um, the only one we're keeping out of all those mystery ones is Eugene or JP. Yep, I think that's all. Everything that I got in this video um, ended up being $59. Like, I got all that for just $59. So, the Hot Topic people were really looking out for me. Um, they offered me a job, too, but I just didn't want to take one. Thanks, y'all, for watching. I, I really appreciate you sitting through this video with me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I got from Hot Topic. Um, let me know if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Like me. Yeah, I'll see y'all real soon um, in the next video. Thanks, guys.